Right, you lovely lot. I am back. I've had a cracking day already. And uh, you might recognize this spot. I've come back here because uh, a dog's come in and mucked up all the river. So it's really cloudy, so I'm, I've got a chance of catching a fish. So I'm just gonna make sure I try and get all this on video because the last couple of fish I've caught up have been epic. I'm gonna actually, my float's been like this all day, but I'm actually gonna make it a little bit deeper now. Just purely because I know there's a deep hole down there and I want to get down into that hole where the fish are. There you go. In typical Nick fashion, got the whole tangle at the end. There we go. There we get on. Yeah, see how I always say about checking the lead shots, I think I've actually. Okay. Jesus. Oh my God. Can you believe it guys? First cast again. Massive rig. Where did we go? Just show who's done it, eh? I've been fishing all day, and probably 20 fish, 30 fish. And that. Nice. Look at him. Cracking fish. Buzzing with that. Cannot beat that. I'm gonna take a photo. So look, amazing. All right. Hello guys, how we doing? On a little Somerset River again. Um, Jean clear. Today, like really, really bad. Uh, I'd be surprised we're even catch today, but sometimes you've got a choice when you go fishing. And uh, yesterday was perfect, today it's not, so it's what it is, what it is, what it is when you're angling. But it's the thing you put me off. Having a big 13 foot rod definitely helps, even on a tiny river. It just helps with the presentation and control of the float and stuff. I mean, how far I am at the bank at the moment, I should get lower down. It's so much easier to control them. Oh, the bike. I felt the bike was the way it went. There we go. Fish on. Happy days. Need to ride. Nice, lean, long roach. And it's a tiny river, trust me. It's really shallow. You can see from my float. But just show you, still got a quality fish. Get him straight back in, I'm not messing around. The only thing when you've got a fabric net. More bait. But as you can see, we're fishing already. As you can see, I'm really prepared already. <laughs> I'm mushing the bread off of my hand. But honestly, this river is like most people just pretty for fishing. It's a hard river. Uh, but you can find the spots, get the bait going in, trust your methods. And get I don't like how much is sticking up, so I'm going to put on a tiny little lead shot, what we would call a dropper. And that uh, help a little bit more with the presentation. All right, here we go, guys. And a little river fishing. And uh, it should be fishing good. Oh, it's fishing terrible, to be honest. I've had three fish already. Um, what I've got to turn the bloody camera on for. 
from a numb thing. But uh, this one in gene clear. And uh, as you, you might be able to see on camera, but you can see how, that's how clear it is. That's the bottom of the river, what you're looking at there. But I just had three fish just in front of here. I've seen a fish splash down here. So I thought, get some bait in a long trot. When it's really shallow and clear, you've got a long trot, really. You can't fish too close to yourself. But as soon as you catch a couple of fish, like I already have, they're only small age, they move. I'm not going to stay around in gene clear water like I was getting caught. So you catch maybe two or three move. There's no point trying it at one spot. That's why you make yourself mobile and you catch twice as many fish. And normally in this section, I can catch 10 to 14 fish on a good day. Today, I'll probably catch six or eight, I'd imagine. But this is not like you need a lake or a river, uh, lake fishing. This is proper ditch fishing. Nah, it's actually a river, to be fair. It's a little tiny river. I'll show you my float set up again in a minute. Give me boob. Oh, that's definitely a bite. So that, here we go. Just because I didn't show the other part of the video. Right, little droppers there, and that's the float. Very simple. Because it's so clear, and as you can see, this is still a little bit deep. It's lucky I'm holding it back a lot. There we go. Great charm. I'm going mental. You can see how shallow it is. All right, eager lifter. There we go. See, look at that. First cast. Gene clear water. Nice, happy roach. As I say, like I said today, I'm not going to be catching. I think a little bit further down, there's a couple of bigger ones, but uh, I'm not going to be catching anything like I did the other day on it, on my one-on-one -on -one videos, when I caught a massive, nearly two-pound roach. Oh, boom. Tried to throw it up, uh, throw it, tried to put it up river a little bit. It doesn't swim straight back into there, because uh, this is not like a big river. These fish speak up very quickly. It wouldn't surprise me now if the whole swim's moved. Because this is what they do, and I chase them up river. <laughs> but I think uh, I get a handful of fish through this lot. So. You see, I'm just chucking tiny bits of bread in, not much. I only want enough to get a bite, I'm not feeding them. Definitely, there's certain lines where you catch and certain lines you don't. Especially on a little river like this, it's so important. Because now uh, there's certain little bits where it's slightly deeper. And if you can get those parts, you're going to catch all day. If you just keep casting in front of yourself and think that'll do, then you won't, trust me. Even if it risks losing your gear sometimes, it's better off casting to the far bank than it is to not fish where you should be fishing. At the end of the day, you want to fish in the bank. There we go. Nice fish. Nice roach. Probably can see it come up river now. There we go. Seems a rug. Yeah, it's a rug. It's a little bit thin. Alright. Oh my god. A bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> Look at him. Nice rug. Right. Swirl it a little bit. Oh, there he come then. See, I should have had this ready, but. Such a rocky. Go. 
guys, it's uh, really my fault. I forgot to get my uh, recorder out. There we go, he's unhooked finally. Like I said, it's trying to just pick up some fish in each swim. Not catching 30 fish in one swim, because there ain't gonna be. Just catching a good couple of fish. A big rod helps to get out where you need to be. Catch a couple of fish and more likely move because this is not gonna you're not gonna bag up in certain areas when it's like a foot deep. You're gonna scare them all away. That's probably what I've done now. Okay, that's a better fish. Give me a bit of a bend in the rod, didn't he? Come on, mate. He's so really fighting on this little river. It's a terrible camera view. But there we go, you see him? This little tiny river, he's definitely uh, doing that little plow round. Lift that, swing in. Look at that, beauty. Black Spot River, Roach. So there we go. See, nothing massive. They're all, uh, all good looking fish, though. They've all got a bit of black spot stuff on them normally. Keep your net lure them in. Ow, females. There you go. It's never easy getting them out when it's that deep. Now that deep when it's that shallow. They always want to stay behind. All right, I think more than likely probably one more fish here and then we move again. Definitely a small one that time. Seen it. I say I've seen it. I literally seen it. It's so clear. Trust me, if you've seen it, you wouldn't fish it. Simple as that. There we go. That's a roach. Oh, 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 he's going crazy. Okay. Oh, Jesus, didn't realize he'd be so big. Really silver roach. There we go. Boom. Right, I'm going to move in a minute. I think going to move, but I can't think it. This seems a pity. I'm not sure. You mean why that is, don't you? It's because I know there's some bigger fish. <laughs> so fun. Fun catching these, but I want to catch bigger ones now. A snag down there. I know it's a big fish down there. <laughs> Alright, we try one more fit for you just in case there's a big fish down there. See, I've said all that about big fish, and then I've got loads of small ones now, so it's like, I'm going to catch a right one. <laughs> I'm 
imagine they don't get much bait in here, and then much bait in here at all. Like they get no bait. Some people feed the ducks down there, but I mean the ducks are pretty crazy down there. They just fly away from you, they're near you. Proper wild ducks. They take bread if you constantly give it to them, but as soon as you get a rod near them, they're gone. There we go. Eat that fish. Look at him plowing along the line. Yeah, he's definitely a bad fish. Oh, he's just a hard fighter. He's just a hard fighter. Well, he is a bad fish, but I think so. There we go, nice black spotted roach up again. Get it hooked straight out. There we go, so look. That's, what was that? Six or seven fish already. I don't know how much I'm actually going to post up of all this, by the way. If you're seeing this, I've probably caught a lot more fish than uh, I've posted up. Just that, you know, I don't want to just flood the market with my roach fishing. But there we go. Very simple. I got that offline off a proper float maker uh, for rivers. Got it last Christmas. And uh, I really like them. I was never into, like, really care about traditional stuff, to be honest, unless it's good. And a handmade float and a fine tip on the end, in my books, awesome. So, right. I'm getting further and further away from where I originally caught them. They just keep moving back and back. And that is chasing him. There's a nice looking snag up there. I know there's going to be fish behind. Just letting the float just go through a moment. Say that because I tangled, but that's because I'm getting over confident with it. I'm not watching the bait, you can watch it because the bait just drop in then. There you go, some fish on straight away. She's a better fish. Much better fish. Not really huge. As you can see, he's plowing around. I think it's a big rud. By the way, it's going. Yeah, it's a rud. See a netter? Nice rod. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. The best fish so far. <laughs> and being like proper tense and that. And see, when they're in a little river, they're constantly swimming all day. So there we go, Mr. Rudge, you can tell by the trude and fin and uh, the real red red tips of him. There we go, silver rud. Not you can get nice golden ones as well. Alright, get him straight back in. Sometimes I'll use a pole float, a little tiny pole float. There we go. Right at the back of the swim. And he's good old counting himself. You notice what they do is they, they hang on for a bit. There we go. Be a rug. Nice roach. Nice roach. <laughs> you got a bite mark out of him. Get my out. Okay. Oh, oh, 
Jesus, I'm going to fall down the bank. There we go. Nice roach. Nice river old roach. See, he's been bitten. Right, mate. That river roach, you know, it's all spasm a lot because they used to swim constantly in the river, you see. That's why I won't have them out too long, because they're uh, not fair on them. Shit, that bit. Live to fight another day. When they're out of a fast flowing river, you notice that you're holding them and they're just constantly like this. Because that's what they've got to do in their, in their little world. Constantly swim. And this is why in winter, river fishing is just awesome. Lake fishing, perhaps. You notice in the spring, I'll be doing a lot of tench videos because I love my tench, wild tench videos. You check them out. I've, uh, I've got a couple of weird videos ready where I've caught some cruisians and some goldfish cross things. I've got a nice variety of pike surface fishing as well. Ditching, ditch fishing. With a, a, bit, a little fake bee. That was really good, little video. Jeez, I, I haven't fell in this river yet. I swam in it to get my, my gear back before. Oh, not swam in it, I walked in it. get into the danger zone. I said that, didn't really know how bite straight away. I couldn't miss it. See, it's a lot further down now. They've moved right down. There we go. Gotta make sure my rod don't go on the other side of the, of the bank. I've done that before. Not looked. Put the rod straight across like I am now. And I ate a branch. Is it? It's a roach. It's a roach again. They're definitely a good stamp here. He's got a weird face. Whoa, that's a bit weird, whatever that was behind me. Could have been a mouse. There we go. Mr. Roach, getting straight back in again. All right, I have one more go here and then I'm gonna move. I've got a better spot up river again. See, with these little rivers, you just gotta find where they're too. And think wrong, I've had a lot of sessions where I've blanked. See, I'm just chucking it here and then letting it float down and then I'll chuck another little bit further down, like that. Normally when I'm prepared, I'll walk along the whole river and put bait, bait in every spot I'm gonna fish and then I'll fish it all the way back through. But I uh, didn't have the luxury of that today. So that's the key to um, being organized when you're fishing. If I was organised, could have done all right then. Done all right. But no, I just would have got bait in these, yeah. Let the fish feed for a little bit longer before you get a get, uh, hook in them. Get a hook in the water, you know? The more bait you can feed them without, well, not loads of food, but a bit of food in there. If all there's a hook or float going through, it's the better, in my opinion. It's a more confident. Plenty of bites. Yeah, and then that line. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be. 
the reach. Nice reach. So there you go, it's a good, good stand for reach I've had here so far. Much better than what I had further down uh, at the beginning of the video. So there we go. It's a good stand for fish. Most people be like, why would you move? Because I'm like that. <laughs> I know uh, there's a lot of big fish in here and uh, I'm catching a lot of fish. So what I'm going to do is I have one more cast and then I'm going to move. There's a couple of stretches to check before we go in. You see, this is all through knowledge of fishing. This river. You find spots and little holes near where they hang out. And, uh, it's me. Right at the back of the swim. Right at the back of this good fish thing as well. Give me a good old pull around, take that. Yeah, it's a nice fish this is. Good roach. This is a long old bank to pick up as well. Big old roach. Right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice big river roach. <laughs> Thought he was a bit bigger. See, right at the back of the swim. It's pretty camera angle. There we go. Nice darkness in him. Uh, so, yeah, buzzing about that. Helicopter rig, big piece of like this running along long line, so it makes it much easier. I've got a little bat lead covered in bread. It's a bit normally I have a really light feeder for it, but I didn't bring it with me, so I'm uh, just going to drop that in. And see how we get on. I'll probably touch ledger at first, and then I have got a rest. This is why I use the helicopter rig, because that wouldn't actually sat in weave the, the lead was. So that just shows, doesn't it? That hook would be sat straight in that. Now I'm just going to drop that down naked without any bread.
this perch. And I just watch the tip with my fingers. And I just feel the lines. And the third side, strike. Otherwise, normally you put on the rest and it's just constantly flickering. And you miss so many bites. I caught my best roast doing this. Same with perch. Time. I'm going to put it on the rest. She told me standing there for 20 minutes doing that. on the rod and now uh, we caught a clonker get back out the water that's a quality fish by anyone's standard Jesus knew they were being funny there we go the old helicopter rig a lovely reach. Oh, he's about a pound and a half, I reckon. Scabish. I'm happy with that. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish my video there. As you can see, I'm riding on my bike with all my fishing gear and uh i forgot to say goodbye on the video so i thought i better do it on the way now but yeah that was a cracking day probably 35 fish in all uh, i post up obviously a lot of the roots that i caught i ain't gonna post up all of them because it's a bit ridiculous but 
Uh, I had two really big fish at the end. So buzzing, happy days. Right, ciao for now guys, bye bye.